Hello everyone, so we will continue over the data engineering playlist. So we are covering all the interview related questions which is generally asked in an interview. We have already covered the SQL related questions. If you haven't watched, please do watch that. Now in this video, we are covering the Python related question which is generally asked in an interview. So we will start with the first question. First question is like how to reverse number by using a Python. Suppose you have given one number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you have to reverse that. So how actually you can do it? So what I will do, I will open my Jupyter notebook. So this is my Jupyter notebook first question is like how to how to reverse number number okay so how actually we can achieve it uh, what are the different way that actually also we will see okay so suppose you are giving one number number is one two three four five how actually you can reverse it so first I will tell you suppose you are giving one name okay so in a string if you want to reverse it if you will directly do minus one the number will the uh, the string will be reverse okay the similar way how first let us try to do with the help of the this method okay so what i will do first i will try to convert into integer first i will try to convert this number into a, a string also okay and uh, i will use the same method okay minus one now if i will try to print n this will be reverse so that is how actually we can reverse a number so that is one way okay now let us see how actually we can do by using other another way okay uh, not direct not direct method with the help of the while loop how actually we can do that i will see we will see okay because sometimes the interviewer ask like don't use this method uh, what are the other ways you can do it so for that what we will do so for that suppose now you are giving one number one two three four five right this is number so first we will try to assign reverse equal to the zero now we will apply while uh, n is not equal to the zero okay see so this is the loop we are applying now what we will do rev equal to the rev into 10 okay okay plus and we will try to apply modular okay and after that n equal to the n okay if you will do now if i will try to print rev we will get so this is how actually you we can reverse the numbers and so this method also you try it and uh, this is the simple method we have and this is also another method we have through which actually we can reverse a number just try it okay i will share this query okay now let us try to see another what are the different question we have now second question is like how to count number of the time present in a list okay so what is the question suppose given one list suppose you have given one list list is okay or i will give li equal to the 1 2 3 2 4 5 okay and the 3 and now in this particular list if you will see one got repeated one time two got repeated two time three got repeated three time and then 4 and the 5 we have okay now our question is like you have to find out how many time 1 got repeated 2 got repeated 3 got repeated 4 and find okay so first we will try to see in the simple method how actually you can find out so in a simple method what actually we can do for i we will try to loop it li okay okay now we will try to just print it okay print li dot count and i okay now if i'll if we'll try to execute this let me print i also you can see one got repeated one time two got repeated two time three got repeated two time two got repeated two time four one five one three two times okay but now if you will see it is it is iterating all the numbers right one two three four five but that is not the correct way now let us try to see how actually you can find with the help of the correct method okay so what we will do first we will try to assign one uh, dictionary here now in this particular dictionary what we will do we will try to iterate first the list okay so what i will do for i in li now if I, I will check if i not in d then di equal to the 1 else di plus equal to the 1 now if i will try to print d now if you will see 1 got repeated 1 time 2 got repeated 2 time 3 got repeated 2 time 4 is 1 time present 5 is 1 time present now if i will try to change the list and let's see whether it's working or fine or not 
now if you will see 2 got repeated 6 times 3 got repeated 3 times so our, this one is working fine ok now let us see the another question the third question is the different way to delete from a list ok so let us try to see how actually you can uh, remove from particular list suppose you are giving one list ok 1 2 3 4 5 now you want to remove the data from here first method is like li.pop so what pop will do it will remove from the list ok we have to do, do l.pop so what actually will do it will remove a particular number from the particular list from the last ok the last was the l5 that's why it got removed now if you will try to print l you will get only 1 2 3 4 ok now second method is right l.remove if you will do l.remove what actually you want to remove we want to remove 2 so if I will do now if I will try to print L we got only 1 3 4 ok first one is like with the help of the pop method second one is to remove the help of the remove method ok I hope you got it now for the particular index also if you want to remove suppose the 3 you want to remove right the index is 0 and 1 so what you will do in a pop itself if you will pass 1 the particular 3 got removed now if you will see L we only have 1 and 4 so with the help of the pop with the help of the remove actually you can delete and remove ok I hope you got it now let us see the another way now the fourth question is what is the difference between list and tuple so whenever we talk about the list and tuple so first first thing you have to remember is like list is mutable means that can be changed ok so for, for example I will show you for suppose this is the list we have right now in this particular list if I want to append something add something suppose 7 and now if I will try to print now this list got changed right so this is mutable means we can change it ok but when we talk about the tuple right when we talk about the tuple this we can't change this is for the fish kind of the structure we generally use it a uh, tuple so that is the difference between the list and tuple I hope you got it now what is the fifth question what is the difference between dictionary and the set so dictionary is nothing but a, it is a key value pair so generally you will get the data in the form of the key and the value ok let me show you so how the dictionary looks like so suppose you are giving one dictionary the value is 1 ok so b the value is 1 ok so this is how your dictionary looks like ok it is like key value pair we have a key that is a and the value is 1 ok so this is nothing but a dictionary now when we talk about the uh, set the it will look like this a 1 2 3 4 5 ok and when we talk about the set it doesn't contain the duplicate record ok if I will try to again put 5 also ok and if I if I will execute this I will get only 1 2 3 4 5 it doesn't contain the duplicate it remove the duplicate record so that is the use of the set if I will now execute I will again get the 1 2 3 4 5 6 it remove the duplicate ok I hope you got it now what is the list comprehension list comprehension is nothing but a suppose you, you have given one list ok now if you want to iterate it so with the help of the list comprehension what we can do you have to put list ok for i in li right now if you want to print i so this is the list comprehension in the single list itself you can execute ok now if I will try to execute the whole list got executed suppose if I will do i into 2 ok i into 2 so all the value got multiplied by 2 so this is the way of doing how actually we can use a list comprehension I hope you got it thanks you thank you that's it in this video